Hey everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. Uh, we're gonna be doing a removal video on a Vizio V436-G1. Uh, this should be pretty easy, but if you have any questions, if you need any help, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484, and let's get right into it. So we have the back of the TV here. Uh, we are going to want to get all of these screws out, uh, the smaller screws here, all the way around the outside, and then we're gonna be want, want to be really careful when we're actually pulling the back away from the chassis. Uh, there are gonna be some cables that are attached to the back of this, as well as to the main board, and we'll get you a little bit better shot of that once we get there. But first, we'll wanna get these screws out. All right, and I believe that does it for the screws. I think we're gonna get you a little bit better shot here of the inside once we pull the back off so that you can see the wires of what we're talking about. So when we get the back off of here, you are gonna notice that we've got two cables here running from the main board that connect to the back of the TV. We did remove a few pieces of tape uh, that were uh, connecting them to the back of the television. Uh, you're gonna watch out for that. Uh, when you're pulling it away, you don't wanna pull any of these plugs out or cause any damage to them. Uh, but these plugs are pretty simple. You're just gonna get your fingernail on top of it, pinch down, and then just walk it out. And after those two are removed, you are gonna be able to set your uh, the back of the television to the side here. Uh, and we'll get right into the main board. So the main board that we're gonna be taking out does have a few clips here and here that we're gonna to need to get off as well as two ribbon cable connections, one here and then there's a very small one uh, right down here. Uh, these are really simple. We just get our fingernail up underneath the flap, pop it up, and that ribbon cable should just slide right out. Same thing with this one. Fingernail, pop it up, and then that ribbon cable should just come right out of there. These clips are pretty self-explanatory as well. We just wanna get our thumbnail up on top of the actual clip piece, give it a little bit of pressure down, and then just pull it out. Same thing with this one. The connections to the Wi-Fi, uh, these little gold tabs here, uh, they just pop right out and away from the Wi-Fi board. Uh, you do wanna be gentle with those. They can become damaged if you put too much pressure on them. Uh, now that we've got all the clips and everything away from the board, we can just use the drill to get the, the board away from the chassis. And that should be it for the main board. If there's not any adhesive or anything underneath it, doesn't feel like it, and it just comes right away. So we are going to move on to the LED driver next. Uh, if you'll notice, there are some pieces of tape here keeping all of these cables in place. Uh, you can just uh, remove those if you need to, uh, so you have a little bit more room to work with. But we're gonna get these clips out right away here. Um, so first thing you wanna do is just get your fingernail up on top of this clip, depress it, and then just slide it out. The other side here, mirroring, is gonna be the exact same thing. You just wanna clip it, like uh, uh, depress the clip, and then just pull it right out. This one right here, same style. And now we're just gonna remove the, uh, th the two screws here, and this should come up and away from the chassis. And that should be the LED driver board. Uh, we're just gonna get right into the T-Con down here. Uh, there's gonna be two ribbon cable connections here as well as this guy. Uh, there's gonna be two buttons on the side that you're gonna wanna push in, and then just slowly walk it out. These are pretty easy. Get your fingernail up underneath the flap, pop them up, and then the ribbon cables should just slide right out. You are going to want to use a smaller, uh, finer tip screwdriver for these screws right here. Uh, a larger screw will probably just uh, strip those out. We don't want that. That should be it for the T-Con board as well. The power supply board looks like it's gonna be pretty simple as well. Looks like there's about five screws going around the outside and then these two clips. Uh, they're gonna be very similar to the style on the LED driver. So we're just gonna get our finger up underneath the, the wires coming out, fingernail on the clip on the top, depress that, and then you should just be able to walk that right out of there. Same thing with this guy. So after we get those removed, we're just gonna take the five screws out and that should be the power supply board. And it 
comes away. Okay, that's it. Pretty easy stuff today. Uh, don't forget, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you do subscribe, you'll receive 20% off your first order through TV Parts today. And we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.